the astral plate and the luminaries with the sun and the moon. I want to do a more in-depth look at this animation that I made between January 1st, 2016 at midnight to January 5th, 2016 at 6 p.m. And I just want to show the luminaries orbiting the North Pole along the ecliptic within the astral plate. So I'll go ahead and hit play on the animation, and I'll slowly start removing and adding the Earth plane and astral plate and removing and adding the luminaries and sun and moon. So right here you can see that, oh, and if I move the mouse too much, it kind of makes the keyframe animation extension in Google SketchUp act slow in the animation turn. So you'll just have to kind of look at what I'm looking for or what I'm talking about. Okay, so if we look at the luminaries like Mercury, Venus, or Mercury, Mars, and Saturn are in orange, while the sun is yellow, the moon is kind of white, bluish white, and Venus is kind of a light purple. <clears throat> I made these colors this way because that is how they look. Those are the colors they exhibit when I look through my telescope. <clears throat> so when I remove the astro plate, you can see the luminaries still orbiting the North Pole. But since the luminaries proceed and retrograde along the ecliptic, their circles aren't, they aren't perfect circles. They're, they're basically spiraling or wind, like spiraling down or winding down. Now, the one thing that is hard, whoops, the one thing that's hard to understand if we just remove the luminaries and look at the sun and moon is that the sun and moon are on the top half of the plate right now, which is the southern hemicircle of the sky, which means that it's reflected off of the firmament. So if I take the sun here, make a copy of it, and then hit paste, you can see that the sun, and I, I might actually make an animation for this. The sun would actually appear to be right there due to the reflection of the firmament. So to an observer, down here and say, Texas, where I'm at. Let me get around that vortex. Let's put the camera down there. Fix the ground. There we go. So it's an observer looking. Oops, the ground too high. In this direction, the sun would appear to be right there because it is, it is reflecting off of the firmament and showing the top half of the astro plate, if that makes sense. Anyway, so back to the animation. So if we remove the earth plate, earth plane and astro plate, now you can see the sun and moon completing their circuits. And you can't really tell, but the sun is proceeding along the ecliptic. If I bring back the astro plate, you can see that since the ecliptic is a half, a sem half circle along one side of the face of the ecliptic, that as it rotates and the sun moves along the ecliptic, the circle that the sun is making around the North Pole begins to spiral inward and outward. So when the sun is right here, it is the Ottoman equinox. When the sun is right here, it's the day after vernal equinox. Same thing on the other side. When the sun is right here, it's vernal equinox. And the, when the sun is right here, it's the day before Ottoman equinox. And so when the sun is here, that's summer solstice or June solstice because it's in the Gemini. And when the sun is here, it is in winter solstice. Or the December, because it's in uh, Sagittarius. <clears throat> so as the sun, oops, sorry. 
as the sun slowly proceeds along the ecliptic, the circles that it's making, oh, whoops, the circles that it's making around the North Pole, as it gets to the center, the perfect center, which would be December 21st, the circle would be the smallest. But as it gets out to the edges, <clears throat> the circle would be much wider. But when it flips to the other side, through the Enoch door, it also makes its way to the center. But on the bottom face, the north face, this is when it's over the Tropic of Cancer, and then it slowly makes its way to the equator, flips off to the top side, and when it's over, when it's right over the December solstice, it's physically over the tropic. It's physically over the, the, the northern tropic of Cancer, but it's reflecting off the firmament and appearing to be over the tropic of Capricorn. And all the luminaries do the same thing. So like I said, it's kind of a difficult thing to, to grasp. But this is why I make these videos. Thanks for watching.